Hello everyone and welcome to this webinar recording. My name is Jamie Munro and I work for a UK based distributor called Pentland Medical. We supply a range of products to the UK hospitals focusing mainly in theatres and anaesthetics. The type of products we tend to sell are unique niche products which offer something new to the healthcare market with the aim of improving patient safety and clinical practice. In this recording I'm going to talk about one of our latest products from the US, the Xanas Nasal Pulse Oximetry Sensor. Xanas has been selling in the US since 2013 and it has been available in the UK since September 2015 when the CE mark was approved. I'm going to tell you about some different types of sensor currently on the market and highlight some of the common problems associated with them. I'll then give an overview of the Xanas sensor and go through the many advantages Xanas has over other sensors. I also have a short video clip to show which demonstrates how the Xanas sensor should be applied and finally I'll go through some frequently asked questions at the end. Pulse oximetry is a huge market with many different makes and models of sensor available. Perhaps the most common sensors are the reusable finger or ear probes. These sensors work well enough on most patients and they can be reused which helps to keep the cost down. These type of sensors are however very susceptible to a range of problems when used on certain patients and in certain circumstances. The finger and the ear are both extremities and on patients with lower perfusion than normal this can mean inaccurate readings, a delayed reflection of any changes in saturation and in some cases even a complete loss of signal. Disposable forehead sensors tend to be more accurate and give faster saturation readings compared with finger and ear sensors due to the higher blood flow of the supraorbital artery. However, the forehead sensor uses a headband and an adhesive which can be uncomfortable for the patient and cause a breakdown of the skin. There have also been reports of burn injuries associated with the use of forehead reflectance sensors and they will only last up to 48 hours before they need to be changed, which can be costly when used on patients who require prolonged monitoring. Introducing the Xanas Nasal Pulse Oximetry Sensor Xanas is a patented sensor designed for placement on the nasal ala, the fleshy part at the side of the nose. This site benefits from a rich vasculature system with a multi-directional blood flow, fed by both the external and internal carotid artery, the latter of which also provides blood to the brain. So what are the advantages of Xanas over other methods of pulse oximetry? First of all, it is faster. Studies have shown that Xanas will reflect any changes in saturation up to 40 seconds faster than a finger sensor. This is because blood coming from the heart will go to the brain before it reaches the extremities and therefore any changes in saturation will be shown by Xanas before they would be on a finger sensor. Xanas will give a much more reliable signal, less prone to dropout. This is because Xanas is placed right at the core of the patient. Essentially there is no better sight on the body that you can access with a pulse oximetry sensor. Even when a patient goes into shock, the blood rushes away from the extremities into the core, meaning that Xanas will work even more reliably in this situation. Xanas is easily accessible at the head of the patient. There is less interference. Xanas is less susceptible to sensor interference from ambient light. This is because the light detector part of the sensor is inside the patient's nose. A study showed that patients found Xanas to be more comfortable than a finger sensor over a prolonged period. Xanas is easily removed and reapplied during the patient's hospital stay, and the sensor uses silicon pads rather than adhesive. Xanas is very durable as it is licensed for continuous use on a single patient for up to 28 days. This is a distinct advantage over the forehead sensors which can only be used up to 48 hours before a replacement is needed and therefore Xanas should help to keep costs down in longer term patients. A study has been published which measured the comfort and usability of Xanas on patients over a period of 7 days. In this study, patients were asked on each of these 7 days to give Xanas a score on the comfort, ease of removal and usability. They were also asked if Xanas gave them any problems such as irritation, redness or general discomfort. In this same study, Xanas was also compared against a traditional finger sensor on one of the days. The conclusion of the 7 day study found that patients were able to wear Xanas for 7 days continuously and rated it acceptable by all criteria. No problems or complications were reported with Xanas over the 7 day period. Furthermore, in comparison to the finger sensor, patients scored Xanas as more comfortable and more importantly, found it to be less intrusive with daily activities. In certain areas, both in and out of the hospital, there should often be circumstances in which Xanas can make a huge difference. Xanas can be implemented into everyday theatre use, particularly in instances of poor perfusion. For example, in a geriatric patient, it should be useful to have Xanas available when you are having difficulty obtaining a good, reliable signal. There are also certain types of procedure which often lead to poor perfusion. 
This can include emergency laparotomy procedures and also robotic surgery. When monitoring critically ill patients with pulse oximetry in the ICU and HDU environment, it's important to know that you're detecting the earliest changes in oxygen saturation. Xanas is a solution for fast, accurate and reliable SpO2 readings. Xanas is licensed for use up to 28 days continuously. This could mean a potential cost saving as the average patient stay in ICU is between 3 and 4 days and other sensors may not last this long. In emergency care, making quick, informed decisions can be the difference in patient outcomes. Therefore, this is another area where a fast, reliable SpO2 signal is extremely important. Another advantage of Xanas is that it is less susceptible to dropout caused by noise vibrations associated with emergency transportation. The same applies to ambient light, as the photodiode part of the sensor is placed on the inside of the nose. I'm going to show you now a short video clip which demonstrates how the Xanas sensor should be applied to the patient. Each sensor is completely disposable. This includes the sensor itself, the cable and the adapter. They all come with a white plastic applicator which makes it very simple to apply and remove the sensor. We advise that the cable should be wrapped around the patient's ear and taped to the face if necessary. The adapter will then plug into the monitor and give a saturation reading straight away. For longer cases we recommend that the site should be checked at least every 8 hours and you should change the placement of the sensor to the opposite side of the nose at least every 24 hours. To finish off, I'm going to run through some frequently asked questions on the Xana sensor. If you have any further questions following this, then please don't hesitate to contact me as I'll leave my contact details at the end. Which monitors will the Xana sensor connect to? The Xana sensor will connect to any monitors which are compatible with Nailcore sensors. This includes Philips monitors, providing you have the relevant interface cable. As a general rule of thumb, we can't connect directly to any Massimo equipment although in some cases there are cables available which will allow compatibility. How long can the sensor be left on the patient's nose for? Because the Xana sensor doesn't use adhesive on the nasal ala, it is licensed for use up to 28 days continuously, which is much longer than other disposable sensors. We do recommend that the site is inspected at least every 8 hours and change to the opposite side if circulation or skin integrity is compromised. For longer patient stays we recommend changing the site at least every 24 hours. Can I clean and reuse the sensor? The Xana sensor is a disposable single patient use device. The device cannot be cleaned or sterilised without potential damage to critical components. Reuse may cause unreliable readings and if the sensor is used on more than one patient, there is a risk of cross-contamination. What if the patient has a nasal oxygen cannula? Xanas will not interfere with the nasal cannula and likewise the oxygen supply will not affect the sensor's ability to obtain an accurate measurement. Does the sensor squeeze the nose? Xanas was designed paying specific attention to the applied pressure. The cushions encapsulating the internal components are moulded in a soft, medical grade silicon with smooth, skin contacting surfaces. These smooth surfaces allow the sensor to stay in place with minimal pressure and without the use of adhesives. Thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar presentation on the Xanas nasal sensor. If you have any further questions or would like any further information, please don't hesitate to contact me directly by email or contact our main office using the details on screen. Thank you.